Hello Geometry. Section 1.5, describe angle pair relationships. This is a nice quick one. It will be only one video, no constructions. And uh, I believe the next section also. So we'll be wrapping up chapter one uh, fairly quickly now. So my learning targets, I know the definitions of complementary and supplementary. You actually might be familiar with those already. Um, I also know adjacent angles, linear pairs and vertical pa angles. And I also can find the measures of these special angle relationships. So here we go. Just to start off, um, I will need my, my pink pen. Um, it says find the values of the missing angles. Uh, the diagrams show a right angle and straight angle respectively. Why is there glare? Um, in any case, this is a right angle. Right angle means 90 degrees. So when I'm working this out, take 90 minus 75 you're going to equal x. So x is 15 degrees. All right. So these two add up to 90 degrees. Now these two will add up to 180. So if I take 180 minus 38, you're going to get 142. So this angle is 142. Now these angles have special names, and so I will get there in a second so you can see that a little bit better. Um, and then the next one, the sum of two numbers is 90. Okay, so you have like x and y. Um, and one number is four times the other. So let's say you have one number x, and the other one is four times the other, so 4x, and it's equal to 90. And now we're going to solve. Combine like terms. 5x is equal to 90, then divide by 5. So 5 goes into 9 one time with 4 left over, we get 18. So x is 18. So if one, if one angle is 18, what's the other? Well, remember, they have to add up to 90. So if I just take, let's slide that over, uh, 90 minus 18. Well, 90 minus 20 is 70, but we're going to add two more. So 72 degrees. So the two angles are 18 degrees and 72 degrees. All right, definitions. Two angles are complementary. I'm going to highlight that. It's a good one to highlight. If their sum is equal to 90. And then two angles are supplementary if their sum is 180. Okay. Also, adjacent angles are angles that have a common vertex and a common side. All right, so first of all, these two angles, because it makes a right angle, these are complementary. They add to 90. And that means this one will be 70. And they are also adjacent, meaning they're next to each other. Well, if I look at these two angles, they're also complementary, but they're not adjacent. OK, so these are still complementary, even though they, they don't have the common vertex. Okay, this one is kind of hard to see. This angle is 180 degrees. Let's just assume that this one is 125. So if this is 125, these two are supplementary. They make a straight line. This one will have to be 55. Because 55 plus 25 is 180. All right, these two angles are supplementary and they're adjacent. But if we look at this one, this one, let's just say it's 74 degrees. I cannot see what that angle says. And this is 106. These two are supplementary, but they're not adjacent. Okay, they don't have a common vertex. All right, so let's go into example one. So example one, given that measure of angle A is equal to 65, find its complement and supplement. So for the complement, we're just going to take 90 minus 65. We'll get 25. All right. And because remember, 25 plus 65 is equal to 90. And then supplement, take 180 minus 65. We're going to get 115. So this is the supplement of the angle. This is the complement of the angle. Now let's look at part B. Measure of angle D is 120. Find the complement and supplement. OK, the reason why I say it's tricky is because let's look at complement. Um, you can't add an angle to this. I guess you could have a negative angle, but then you defeat the uh, 
whole purpose here. There is no complement. It's already over 90 degrees. But supplement, take 180 minus 120, you're going to get 60 degrees. So far, so good. Told you this would be a breeze. Next page. All right, ooh, look at this. All three angles will form a straight line. Okay, they are adjacent. Um, uh, together they'd be a supplement, but usually supplementary pairs would be just two angles equal 180. Okay, so these are three angles. So what we're going to do is add up all three angles. I'm going to do the work right up here. 5x plus 4 plus x minus 2 plus 3x plus 7 is equal to 180. Can you see that? Why are we having problems with this? In any case, find the like terms, 5x, 3x, and 1x will be 9x. 4 minus 2 plus 7 is 9. Subtract 9 on both sides. You have 9x is equal to 171, then divide by 9. x is equal to 19 degrees. Now remember, you always have to read the directions. So they also want you to find all three angles. We found x, but so many people accidentally stop right there. So now let's substitute 19 in for all of these. So 5 times 19 plus 4, that's going to equal 99. Please double check. Let me know if this is wrong. That's a bad 9. Um, 19 minus 2 is 17. And then we have 3 times 19 plus 7 equals 64. Please double check to make sure these are correct. All three angles should add up to 180. I'm trying to do the math in my head and 7, 11, yep, looks good. All right, definition. Two adjacent angles are a linear pair. Okay, so let's highlight that puppy. If their non-common sides are opposite rays. Okay, so basically their supplementary linear pair makes 180 degrees. Okay, and then two angles are vertical angles if their sides form two pair of opposite rays. So what they're talking about is vertical angles would be like this angle and that angle are vertical angles. But also two and four are vertical angles. Okay, So you have these two together and then you have those two together. But if you look at these two, angle one and two, that's a linear pair. These two are congruent. Okay. Um, I don't know if I actually told you that, but yeah, these two are going to be the same measure. Um, there is a proof for this because these two add up to equal 180. These two add up to equal 180. If you take that away, these will equal to each other. So uh, there is a little proof for that. I probably should uh, do that with you. I'll do that in class. All right, here we go. Identify all of the linear pairs and all of the vertical pairs. Okay, so linear pair, let's use black. There are a few of these. Um, let's just do these two. Okay, so this is angle DEC and angle BEC. Of course, we could say CEB if you wanted. Um, actually, I think that's the only one because here, to do a linear pair, you'd have to do all three, and they want a linear pair, just two angles. And again, same with this way. There would be three angles. So that's your only set. Vertical angles. Uh, vertical angles, basically, you want the line uh, to crisscross. And you'll have these two angles right here, are vertical angles. So that means this angle is going to be the same as this one. So we have angle AED and angle BEC. Now let's find all the missing angles. All right, so here we go. These two are a linear pair. That means they have to add up to 180. 
So if I have 180 minus 135, that's going to equal 45. So this is 45. Okay, now also this is congruent to that. These are vertical angles. Okay, of course I know I didn't tell you that vertical angles are congruent, but we'll find out anyways. Look at this. This is 45, that's 45, this is a 90 degree angle. That means that this one has to be 90 degrees. And if this was 45 and that's 90, this also has to be 45 because they have to add up to 180. But one thing I want you to keep in mind from right here, you now know vertical angles are congruent. So I'm going to write that right here. I think we're going to learn that later. Vertical angles are congruent. And you're going to see a lot of abbreviations in geometry. Don't worry about them. Okay, I think we found all the angles. Next page. Ooh, and then we should be done. Okay, find, ang uh, find x, y, and the angle measures. All right, so first of all, let's uh, do these two. These two are congruent. So 2x plus 5 is equal to 3x minus 33, because they're vertical angles. I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. 5 is equal to x minus 33. Then I'm going to add 33 to both sides. x is equal to 38. All right, so we found x. Now let's find y. Um, look at that linear pair. And what we can easily do is we can plug 38 in to find out what this is if you want because it ha it's going to have two variables, or two variables that way. So let's go ahead and plug 38 in. So I have 2 times 38 plus 5. So 2 times 38 is going to be 76 plus 5 equals 81. Okay, so these two angles have to equal 180. So that means I have 81 plus 4y minus 1 is equal to 180. Let's combine like terms. 4y plus 80 is equal to 180. I'm going to subtract 80 on both sides. 4y is equal to 100. Divide by 4, y is equal to 25. All right, so then if I substitute this in, 4 times 25 minus 1 to be 100 minus 1, that's 99. Of course, you better know what this one is. Remember, these two angles are vertical angles. They're congruent. So if this one's 81, this will be 81. All right, there's your homework assignment. Here are our standards. You have a very nice evening.